Lava Loon is complete butt cheeks. Today we're going to use Lava Hound, Lightning, Flying Machine, and don't upgrade this deck. Wallah, I'm going to start making videos consistently, okay? I don't want to say daily because I don't think I can hold myself to that right now. I think either one or two days between every upload, I'll do my best to be consistent. But, bro, I, I'm actually serious. I think we're going to lock in and, and, and start. Okay, that's not a good start to the video. All right. We're going to start posting, okay? That's it. That's all you need to know. On to bigger and better things. Well, when I say better, I don't mean Lava Hound because it's in the gutter. It's probably the worst it's ever been in the last year. Lava is terrible. Lava is horrible. There's four lavas in the top 200 right now. There should be like 30 if you judge by past season trends. If you thought last meta was bad, you're, oof, you're in for a treat, buddy. But to be fair, the Goblinstein is almost guaranteed to get a nerf. There's no way that it's not going to get an emergency nerf, especially with the... the I can't hear myself think it is almost guaranteed to get like nerfed before world finals like there's no way you don't nerf the most broken card in clash royale uh before balances or before worlds i guarantee you get some sort of a nerf whether that nerf will be effective or not that's now that's the question you should be asking see if he gives me lightning value here it doesn't look like he's going to so we'll just go guards again but yeah i mean this is just a miserable experience i've not been having fun but i have a really nice w community and you guys you know even though you guys are no way if that pekka got a hit i was actually gonna crash out and i already started crashing out but you guys are actually such a w community because i'm not even consistent you guys stay like supporting the streams even if you guys are being like terrible people in the streams bro like I still love you guys, so thank you. But anyways, enough reminiscing. I don't think Lava Loon will remain bad for very long. You guys don't need to panic or worry about anything. This deck will be just fine in uh, probably a week. Maybe uh, depends on how good the nerf is. I think you can still definitely win games. So hopefully today you're going to see a bit about how to play the Lava Lightning variant because it's a little bit tricky. Um, some lava decks are like, you know, really simple to like go from one to the other. This one's kind of different since we have flying machine, lightning, no balloon. But hey, you know, if you don't have the cards leveled up for this deck, you can just bang your head against the wall and play lava loon, fireball arrows, and you can probably win some games. But fireball zap doesn't kill the goblin doctor right now. So that's kind of why we're not playing that. So, I mean, Pekka Ram Rider or just anything Ram Rider is still like the best deck in the game. There's, there was no, the, the Ram Rider... I don't know. I don't know. I guess the Ram Rider seduced the balance changer and <laughs> a lot knows how you get seduced by the Ram Rider, but it, there's somehow it slipped away from the balance changer and we have the same Pekka Ram meta as last time, except this time it's more cursed because of the Goblin Steen. So um, good news. The this deck gives you a fighting chance against Pekka Ram Rider. It's not still I wouldn't like happy 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 like when i face ram rider decks but i mean i have a chance to win so that's better than it was last meta um also good news uh lightning does very well not only against the holy e-spirit value not only against um ram rider like like goblin steen decks but just anything in general like in this meta lightning just gets good value i don't know I don't know the logistics behind it. The lightning is better in this meta, which is not saying much because it's probably the worst spell in the game. But at the same time, uh, lightning value. Yay. Lightning is good again. I, but good is subjective. Uh, lightning is usable again. So for everybody who's saying, oh, I, I told you that Lava Loon Lightning was going to be good. Nope, nope. That's not how it works. Lightning is the worst spell in the game. How was I supposed to know that we were going to have a bunch of lightning a bull cards in the meta? I don't know. This is, you know, this is fine. I like this spot a lot. And you could say this guy just blows, and he probably does, but because he's a Pekka Ram player. But as you can see, we're kind of like, I mean, this guy has a pretty intimidating deck, right? I mean, he's got Evo E-Drag. He's got Pekka Ram, Tornado. So it's not like this is a free win. Um, but, I mean, we're giving ourselves the best chance for victory in this, like, crappy meta. So I'm honestly going to recommend not to upgrade anything. I already said this. Don't upgrade any cards that you don't already have. Just kind of wait for the meta to, to balance a little bit. But if you wanted to play a deck right now, I'd play this deck. It's just, it seems pretty good. It just seems, okay, pretty good is not true. In terms of lava, it seems pretty good compared to the other lava decks. 
Also, my hair product just did not work today. So I don't want to see anybody in the comments. You're so ugly. Barber didn't do his job. It's just, it's, it was a miserable experience, okay, today trying to do it. Because I, one, I, I, cutting off the side of my head. I mean, there's just no reason to be doing that to my, to my head. But we are, so. Um, this doesn't curl anymore because it's, 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 it's like this long. So it just doesn't curl anymore. And it was too wet this morning. Cause I towel dried my hair. Like, like I gave it like a good 15 rubs and it just, that wasn't enough. So, I mean, if 15 rubs isn't enough for you, then uh, that's just whatever, man. 15 rubs wasn't enough. So, uh, I thought it was not soaking wet and it was soaking wet. And then I went outside to mow the lawn and I was like, you know what? The sun is shining. Wallah, the sun is shining. My hair will be fine. And the sun does literally nothing. And I got such bad allergies from the lawn and pollen that I started getting nosebleeds randomly at lunch and it ruined my appetite. So that was how my day was going. I know nobody asked, but um, you know what? I'll assume that not all of my chat is a bunch of toxic idiot 15 year olds and that some of you guys are, you know, real ones. This is why we run lightning to an extent. Um, because lightning could do that. Are we still gonna get freezed here and lo lose the whole tower because the skeleton dragons can't splash? No! MashaAllah! Wow, okay. I'll take that, man. Whatever. We'll go... We'll go start up a little bit of a push here now that he doesn't have balloon in cycle. Hold on. So, E-Drag, Light... Lightning Dragon... No, that's the same thing. Ice Wiz... Well, I cannot speak today, bro. Ice Wiz... Goblin baby demo what's what what I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, bro Okay, the flying machine just dipped W flying machine Okay, sorry, I'm trying to lock in but like at the same time I'm getting absolutely demolished here So I'm not sure what I'm doing, bro um, flying machine should kill that thing. We got a bomber incoming as well. Bomber gets hit by the ice wizard because, like, everybody just loves getting hit by the ice wizard today. Um, nice lightning value as well. Go flying machine. And he tornadoes the flying machine into his tower. The bomber is down. That'll be GG's. Big win. Big win. That's what we'd like to see. Three air counters? I don't care. I don't care. Kleinsman has a 57 global tournament finish. That's pretty good. I have to admit that's pretty good. Uh, I'm like maybe the worst global tournament player of all time. So my best is only 124. But if you guys believe him, do you guys believe in me? Like actually, do you guys believe in me? I because I, I know I've never shown like good GT runs and stuff. But like I genuinely believe that one day we have to get an emote. Like right? There's no way we don't get an emote. I was 24 places off. I lost to Juicy J. Do you know how to... I love, look, I love Juicy J as a person. I love Juicy J. I think his grind is insane. I think he is a great guy. I think he has an incredible work ethic. He's a great streamer, great content creator. Do I think that he is a amazing Clash Royale player that I think he's a good Clash Royale player? There's a difference between losing. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to be politically correct here. I think there's a difference between losing the GT emote to Moogie and losing the GT emote to Juicy J. Okay, that's probably the most embarrassing start I've ever had in my entire Clash Royale career. I'm going to come back and I'm going to win this game. Okay, you can believe or you can not believe. I frankly don't care. I literally, I frankly just don't care what you guys choose. I'm going to come back and win this game. And it's going to be, a, it's going to be very nice. It's going to be a very nice, very, very easy victory. Um, look, not everybody can, you know what? Maybe they can. Everybody can just play a bunch of cars at the bridge and capitalize on me being low elixir, okay? Anybody, any Tom, Dick, and Harry can do that, okay? But can anybody mount this insane comeback that's about to happen? No, but I can because I'm that guy. So watch this. Watch this, bro. We're going to make the Arabian Stallion proud with this one. Let's go lava. Let's think about this. I am more, I'm, I'm a little worried about stacking princess. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. That is insane. That is actually clinically insane. Okay, we'll go flying machine. We're gonna go goblin cage.
for anything he puts on this. Nice. We're going to go arrows on the Dark Goblin. He's not going to play a Dark Goblin because he's broken, he's poor, and he doesn't have a Dark Goblin. Okay. So, Flying Machine is doing its thing. Skeleton Dragon's about to lock on. We get arrows as well here. Arrows hit everything. Okay, you know what? I gassed it up. This is not very hard to do. This guy has no air cards. I have no ground defense in single. He has no air defense in double. The A. Let's go. I'm not going to lie, bro. The wins don't have to be impressive. Like, they don't have to be impressive. The, it, it can be no skill, bro. That's the whole point of trying to make a good deck. You want to make as many matchups as easy as they can be. And that's, like, the goal when you're trying to make a deck, you know? Like, I don't... Yeah, it would be cooler if I finessed my, all, all my opponents and I was playing a cycle. We're playing Lava Loon, bro. It is the, notoriously a top three most hated deck in the game because it makes matchups easy. Yes, can we finesse? Yes, but you know what? The goal at the end of the day is to make this game easy because winning is why I want to play this game because I like winning. Winning is fun, and you know what? Winning easily is is fun as well. I had, okay, I promise you I actually had like a connection there that I was going to make that would have made sense, and then I just... I just fumbled it. I don't know. Like, I, I actually... I was going to connect the dots there, I swear. I, well, I was going to connect the dots, and then I just didn't. Um, no Goblin Doctor in Cycle, so I don't... I can go in here. Um, go bomb. Shout out to Fluffy Potato 999 by the way. I think it's a real one. He put me onto this deck. Um, yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? He was the guy I was talking about that's currently tilting right now with this deck, so... Uh, you know what? Let's go flying machine over here. Um, yeah, let's go flying machine over here. Let's go cage like this. I want to go flying machine towards the outside so it can't get hit by the ability. Do you see why I'm doing that? It's kind of simple. It's just, you know, some people might not understand the play. We're going to go guards opposite lane. These are not random guards. They're trying to force that elixir so he can only spend elixir in one lane. He has a lightning, which is... Uh, yeah, we're playing goblin drill, goblin scientist lightning. Okay. Anyways, we went up 1,200 damage because I uh, forced a little... Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, I didn't get that damage because I went guards. Just, the guards just, like, they helped. Like, this, that makes sense. Like, the guards just... Now I can go Goblin Cage in front of my tower and not, and not have any problems because I already baited out a Zevo Bomber. Look at that, guys. Look at... I, I, and I was saying that this video was going to be no skill. Are you trying to light? Was he? Was that? Uh, was that a misclick or was he trying to lightning block his? Because that's low key like a that's not even a dumb play. Like okay, hear me out, bro. That's not even a dumb play from the opponent. Like if he just goes cannon there and he pulled that off, I would have lightning the cannon. No, I wouldn't. The cannon didn't have any health. That was the stupidest play I've ever seen. This guy sucks. This guy blow. What do you mean that was a good play? That, the play sucked. This guy sucks. GG's. Use this deck if you have boost potions or this deck is already leveled up. If you don't, don't upgrade this deck. It's not worth it. Trust. Uh, Lava Loon's not in a great spot. But hey, we'll end off the day with a plus 35. Voila, we're going to make more videos. We're going to be more consistent. Tomorrow I will stream probably. And we might play this deck. We might play one of Dominic's creations. I don't know. Have a great rest of your day.